how's it going? My name's John McLennan. I hope you're doing fantastic. And I'm here with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today's lesson is on a song called The Boys Are Back in Town. I've always liked this song. It's got a few different sections. We're going to break down the intro, the verse, the chorus, and of course that guitar hook that uh, is really memorable. So be sure to click on the link below so you can get the tab and follow along with this video. All right, well, we're going to zoom in and break it down. Here we go. So for this intro, I'm basically just putting my first finger down cross two strings, the fourth and the third string, at the second fret, and I'm playing an A fifth string open with them, which gives me this A5 power chord. And that goes for, uh, let's see, like, you know, three and a half beats or so. One, two, three, four. And on the and of four, you play the open fourth string. And then you play the 4th fret on the 4th string. Three of those. Then back to 2 on the same string. Then 4 on the 4th string. So, and then you end with 2, 2. So uh, if I do that slowly for you, it's, it's like this, one, two, three, four, and one, and a two, and three, and one, two, three, four, and one, and a two, and three, and And I'm kind of going down, up, down, down, up. Let's see, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. It's kind of my right hand picking pattern there. So, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and, and I kind of accent that last uh, and a three. And three, and. Now, another thing you'll notice that I'm doing is I'm palm muting just the, the single note line. So the chord's open, three, four, and that's kind of, I guess, could be palm muted or half palm muted, and then that's kind of palm, full palm muted. So. so the way you do that is you just, you know, plant your, your palm down this, this part of your, your hand right where the string comes back and touches the saddle piece there. So instead of this sound, you get that. And you can play sing, it's a cool sound to have single notes. You know, muted like that, so. Two, three, four. Then you move up to a B5, and that's played second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. And I'm starting on the fifth string. And then I move up to fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret. So one, three, four. And they're on the ands of four, you know, so one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So kind of, that's kind of the whole deal is like they're, they're playing the and a four is when the chords are changing so it's syncopated and then back to that a again on the and a four as well Let's do the whole thing. I'm going to play it for you real slow so you can play along. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one and a two and three and four.
that's another thing that you might hear is just kind of some clicks in there, you know, like on, on the ands, you know. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And, you know, and that's just kind of muted X strings. The way you do that is you just, uh, you know, dampen across the strings. And you get this sound. It sounds cool with distortion. You bring out all the harmonics, you know. So that's the intro. Next up is the verse. Let's break it down. So for the verse, we're just going to move through a series of chords, and they're all changing on the and of four. So I'll play you the first uh, eight bars. <laughs> So the first chord is A, just like the beginning of the song. You know, you just got back today. You know where the verse melody comes in. So one, two, three, and four. Then we move up to a C sharp minor seven, and that's basically four, six, four, five, four. It's like a C sharp minor bar chord, but without the pinky. So. Then we go up to a D, which is 5, 7, 7, 7, 3, 4, down to an F sharp 7 sus 4. And that's going to be 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 2. Then to C sharp minor 7 again, back to F sharp 7 sus 4. Then we go to B minor 7, which is the same exact thing as C sharp minor 7, just relocated two frets lower. So that's going to be 2, 4, 2, 3, 2. two three. And then it's kind of like this sus sound. You know, uh, it's a B minor 7 over E. And what you can do is, uh, a lot of times I'll... I'll uh, play this shape instead of having the B in there. So that'll be 4, 2, 3, 2. And then I bring my third finger up just enough to touch the fifth string. So it's... Yeah, so it, it almost looks like a D with an E in the bass. That's another way of thinking about it. It's like this kind of sound, an 11th chord, whatever. So let's, let's do that. Uh, those... Let's see, what is that? Uh, eight bars there, or four bars. Eight bars, yeah. So one, two, three, and four. 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 Back to the, the A again. So all those chords, remember, and a four. One, two, three, and four. So for the second half of the verse, we're going to basically just continue a similar thing. It's going to go uh, A, so it's just a, a, a subtle variation. What we did was we played an A to a C-sharp minor 7 again, then up to a D. Now instead of going to the F-sharp 7 sus 4, uh, it, it substitutes an F chord, which would be the same as a D, 5, 7, 7, 7, just relocated to 8, 10, 10, 10, so that would be 3 frets higher. C-sharp minor 7, F-sharp 7 sus 4, minor 7, B minor 7 over E. So the second half of the verse goes like this. Then we're into the chorus there. So one more
more time. One, two, three. Great job so far, keep going. We're gonna look at the chorus now and that guitar hook. So for that first chorus, we actually go back to the chords that we used in the intro. So it goes like this. Again, just to review those chords, we had A, 0, 2, 2, B, 2, 4, 4, D, 5, 7, 7, and uh, uh, changing on the and of 4. One, two, three, four. And then the part that everybody really loves is, is that riff. So that goes like this, starting on the second fret, third string. So what I'm doing is uh, playing two, playing it again, and then hammering to four on the third string. Then drop down to two on the second string. So. And then back up to two. And it's just a, a repetitive figure there, so... Three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one and two and three. Then we go up higher. So the whole riff is. So what I did when I went up higher is I, I start with that same kind of launching point, two, two, four, two, but I go up to my pinky here, five, on the second string, back down to two. So, and then you tag it with these triplets, three, 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 two, four, so three. again. And on an A chord. So that whole riff. I hope this video lesson really inspires you and makes you want to keep practicing and keep playing guitar. For more information, click on the annotation on your screen or the iCard if you're on mobile and check out one of the courses from guitarcontrol.com. Alright, well thanks for tuning in. I'm John McLennan. We'll catch you in the next video lesson.